Hello ladies and gentlemen, if you're a Mac user and you're interested in compiling C and C++ programs using the GCC GNU compiler collection, then this video is for you. So what we're going to do first is confirm that we're using Apple Silicon. So if you go to the uh, Apple icon and click on about this PC, you should see under chip that says Apple M something. If it doesn't, if it says Intel, then watch my previous video on how to set it up because the paths are a little bit different for the installation process. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Go Utilities and open up the terminal. And of course, you can also use the spotlight feature here and just type terminal. Either way, uh, opens it up just fine. We're going to install Homebrew, which is a package manager to help set up GCC. To do that, we're going to go to brew.sh in the browser and just scroll down here under install homebrew. There's this command here to copy and paste into the terminal. So we'll right click here, paste it in, hit enter, and you'll need to be an admin user to set this up. So type in your password for your admin account and hit enter. That's the same password as your user account. And um, then I hit enter again, confirm that it's going to set up these tools, and we'll let this run. This will install some necessary software. Ironically, it'll install the command line tools, compiler tools that includes CLang or Clang. And CLang is the compiler that's used for C and C++ often on Mac. Um, the benefit of having G++ or GCC is that they are more standardized across operating systems. We'll let this run. This will probably take five minutes or maybe even a little longer depending on your internet connection, um, so I'll speed this up in post. Now that it's installed, we have a couple more steps it says right here under next step. It says run these two commands in your terminal, so we'll go ahead and copy and paste them. Copy that, paste it in. This command as well. Copy that, paste it in. Now homebrew is installed, and to install GCC it's really simple now. We just do brew install GCC and then hit enter and this will take another couple minutes or a bit longer if you have a slower connection so again I'll speed this up a little bit in post so you'll notice here as of the recording on my system it installed GCC version 14.1.0 and so that's probably uh, different, so you're going to have to check that. What we're going to do is we're going to create a, a shortcut. Right now, if I type G++, um, it actually runs CLang instead. And so I'd like it to actually run G++ instead when I do that. Um, and even if I restart the command line, I could type G++14, because again, that's the version that's installed, um, and it would, it would run it. But I'd like to be able to just run G++. So what I'm going to do is type CD space. This is change directory. We're going to go to a different directory or folder. We're going to go to slash opt slash homebrew bin. And then you can type LS here to see what's in this folder. And uh, there's a lot of different things. And right here at the top, you can see on my system, it says G++14. So double check that. If it says 15 in the future or even 16 or whatever it says, uh, note that and use that in this next command. We're going to make a link to it. I'm going to say ln-s G++14 G++ and then G++. And I'm going to hit enter. Now, if I type LS, you'll see there's a new thing here. That's G++. And so that will allow me to just type G++ and actually compile my programs. Now I can't do it quite yet because I need to restart the session. And so we might be able to just exit out of the terminal. To be safe, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out and log back in. So I'm going to log out at my user account, log back in, and then we can open up the terminal again. Now I should be able to type G++ and there it goes. Now you see it says fatal error. That's just because I didn't give it the rest of the command. It doesn't know what C++ program to compile. But I can type G++ dash dash version. We won't get an error. We'll just see the version there. And you can see sure enough in my case it's running version 14.1. So that sets us up well to compile C++ programs using GCC. And again if you wanted to compile it using CLang you can do that as well. So notice that runs the CLang compiler. And you do a similar kind of thing here to see the version for that. Uh, for my class, if you're following my videos, uh, we'll be using G++ as the command. So you'll see that in the future videos there. So hopefully you have it set up well. If you have any problems or any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks. Hope this video is very useful for you.